here it is, it is the extruder upgrade. I've just uh, received it uh, and I've replaced the original extrusion system by this one and it looks uh, it looks uh, a bit more able to um, to, to, to to be adapted to different sizes of uh, PLA filament that the PLA filament goes in this hole and is dragged by the motor here and if the filament is uh, a bit large for example uh, it doesn't get stuck here in the in the extruder so it's uh, theoretically able to work out a lot of problems of uh, extraction that uh, happen directly here in the in the top of the extruder mechanism and here I'm, I'm actually uh, unmounting the bar assembly uh, the bar assembly uh, is uh, is made of uh, this bar this is the thermal uh, the thermal uh, um, the barrier tube the thermal barrier tube here uh, you can see that this is uh, it's clean uh, however I don't I'm trying to see if the print head is uh, has problems and as you can see here the insulation uh, is empty here so it will probably create a lot of problems later on so that's why I've decided to to remove and to replace it and uh, I've also noticed a lot of problems of uh, extrusion. Uh, the, the, this uh, this print head apparently this nozzle has apparently a lot of problems of extrusion, and uh, it's uh, it produces lots of uh, PI filament uh, next to the nozzle. So I don't know exactly from where it comes. But I will I will disassemble it fully. I, I will um, remove the the tape here that is burnt and that is not working anymore anyway. And I will try to see where the problem was. I need to say that the there is a cable I had to remove. I had to remove this cable, and I I'm here at this point of the procedure. And I've got two two things to remove. I will simply consider that the red, this one is red, and this one is yellow. And as you can see here, you get red here and yellow there. So top red, down yellow. It has to be probably respected, uh, otherwise. Uh, uh, the sensor, the thermic sensor won't work uh, well in the future, so I will release this, but I will have to remember that the red or dark one is top and yellow down. So here's the mount bar assembly, uh, fully removed from the top of the extruder. So I removed it. And uh, I'm waiting for uh, the bar assembly that MakeBot decided to send me here at home. New nozzle, new thermal core, and new extruder because I replaced also the extruder. Uh, I have high hopes about this uh, big maintenance and especially this extruder because I, I'm nearly convinced about the fact that the, uh, the bad way the filament was inserted into the nozzle could produce on the bottom of the mechanism some kind of problem. <coughs> I just received the new mount bar assembly from MakerBot and this is the video. So we can see that uh, uh, the replicator to bar mount assembly uh, 
has a value of ten dollars US ten dollars and you can see that the postage and fees it's thirty four dollars but because of the warranty I didn't have to pay anything so for now so I have to say that if one day I had to replace this uh, I should pay in my country $44 so I really 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 hope that this replacement will uh, will make it and as you can see you get two colors the red and the yellow one so uh, so we look back on the on the thing and you get yellow here and red there so it's a push pull mechanism so I will introduce uh, the red and the yellow uh, I would say opposite uh, in the holes and it's uh, it's red and it's it's red on the top and yellow on the bottom okay so now I get to um, reinsert this cable into the uh, into this and and then to remount uh, remount the print head uh, until the end uh, okay so I rebuild this uh, using this tool uh, this tool is uh, really essential because I, I don't know what I could do without it uh, it's very very useful essential tool for maintaining this printer and I'm re replugging the, the cables so that like that and now um, we have to remount uh, the cooler on the right side and the extruder with the new system. <clears throat> I'm rebuilding the print head, so I've just remounted this. I've just remounted the extruder with the upgrade, and now I just uh, need to see the, the 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 left cooler. I'm going to re to put it there and see what happens. Hmm. Oh crap! Crap! This is very fragile because uh, why I'm doing the rebuilding a print head. Uh, it's, <laughs> this uh, this cable has uh, has been disconnected. So I think I I need to to use a hot hand to to put it there and continue my. The print head is partially rebuilt, and my goal now is to uh, to make things so that um, the printer uh, is just uh, remounted correctly uh, here and there. So I will try to use some uh, special tools. So that I, can, I can eventually um, just uh, remove or replace more easily things in the future. So there are four screws and this uh, kind of plate, like plate. I had to to put it uh, on the bottom of the printer. Put the screws at the right place and just. Turn them clockwise so that it's fixed like that. So there are four places. It's not easy to to reach, but you can do it easily with this. Uh, once again, this uh, very crucial tool. Provided by me to work industries. Okay. Hmm. 
And the last one here. Looks more interesting to use this this kind of thing. Instead of those the those things because uh, if I have to remove and remount and remove and remount uh, it seems to be something that has no hand so I, I don't shoot this uh, this kind of of tool for now. And here are the screws I will have to use to put the mount bar assembly uh, directly uh, uh, here on this place. Uh, I have to fix uh, the printhead here. And it's always the same uh, same uh, thing, same tool that I had with, that I got to use to to uh, to put the screws and to tighten it. Use this tool to uh, re re rebuild it and re put it there. This is not uh, very difficult. Okay. Uh, I also got to fix this. Uh, uh, this problem because uh, uh, while you maintain the print head, this is a all the time fact up. So you simply got to use uh, this kind of tool, and uh, you hit the, this point, and you just uh, fix. You just work it out by putting this uh, cable here. It won't be something so difficult. Uh, and after that, uh, we have to make some tests. In fact, since there is no Delrin plunger to deal with in the future because I've replaced uh, the extruder uh, system by the upgraded one, I think I, I won't have to remove uh, this all the time like I ha have to do before. So um, I think that, and this is probably the last time I have to fix this kind of problem by myself. Okay, let's wait so that it's uh, hot enough and uh, let's work it out one for good. Uh, frankly, I don't know the way I could use it in this printer. I don't know where it could go. I have to ask it to make a bot. What's this? shouldn't be in the print head. It seemed the only place where I could put it, but <laughs> frankly... It's, uh, it's, it's stupid. Okay, there should be another place. Okay, so this looks to be fixed. So, trying to rebuild. And finally, the full uh, print head and I try to make the first uh, test with the new extruder and new mount bar assembly. And uh, it's remounted, the uh, things are seems to be correctly done. I don't know, but I try to reproduce exactly the same the same thing and seems to be okay. The new uh, extruder system. Let's hope that it will work better. So there. Now there is the two guide. Put it there. Right. And there. Just rip it in this place. So let's first have the um, extruder. So until it is. Change. Load. Okay, so I'm starting the process. Let's try to see what we is going on. And it shifts the right way. Yo! In the end. Finally! After one month! And now I'm starting Mr. Joe's. It ha it, it, ha it has to work, man. It has to work. It does. And yes, it worked. I was on the verge of uh, 
put in the replicator back in the box and send it back to make box industries and in the United States of America because I was really angry but now it works and it works flawlessly it's a perfect object really quick build no mistakes and I've also built this one this is a famous teapot no problem at all a quick build everything works well and I've started a third object this is something that will help me to uh, to hold uh, to hold something in my house and once again it's a flawless print without any any wrong any blob uh, it's clean, it's quick, it's perfectly done, I'm satisfied in the end. But I had to replace everything here. 